Established in the 30s, Spendthrift Farm has long been a part of the fabric of the Commonwealth of Kentucky and at the heart of the thoroughbred breeding industry. Stallions such as Nashua and Triple Crown champions Seattle Slew and Affirmed influenced the breed through their years of stud duty at Spendthrift. Current owner B. Wayne Hughes began establishing his vision of Spendthrift in 2004 and has created a stallion marketplace that has something for everyone, led by America's number one general sire of 2019, Into Mischief. We've been here for 16 years. We started from scratch. Mr. Hughes had about uh, 40 broodmares at the time. We started off with one $5,000 stallion horse named Teton Forest that Mr. Hughes raced. And we've evolved to having one of the largest stallion rosters in North America, standing the leading stallion in North America and into mischief and expanding into Australia and even some activities in South America as well. How are the different personalities of these stallions when it comes to the breeding process? Are, are some, how do you phrase this, more into it than others? Most of the best stallions that I've seen are also very good breeders and Into Mischief definitely falls into that category. He's probably the best breeding stallion that I've ever been around and, and I think the things that go into making up that are that he has tremendous libido. So he is always ready to go. You put a mare in front of him and he's ready to breed. Uh, he has tremendous fertility. So he's very efficient, he's very easy on himself. He goes into the breeding shed he mounts the mare one time in just a few minutes and uh, breeds her and, and that's the end of it. And it has to, in the thoroughbred world, be a live cover, right? The thoroughbred industry is still has the only registry that requires live cover. All other breeds uh, use artificial insemination. Uh, thoroughbreds are live cover. That stand has to physically breed the mare. And on average, how many mares would a particular stallion cover in one day. A stallion on a given day may breed as many as four times. So our, our morning breeding session is at 7 a.m. Uh, we'll come back at 2 p.m., 6.30 p.m., and uh, 10 p.m. if we need to. And you hear the term teaser stallion mentioned. What is that process like? What are, what are their responsibilities? <laughs> How graphic do you want me to get here? <laughs> <laughs> A teaser on a thoroughbred farm has basically the world's worst job description. Uh, the, the teaser is used, he is a male horse who is used to gauge the, how receptive a, a mare may be to breeding the stallion. And he really is a, a really important line of defense for the stallion and for the mare as well. So it's very important that that, that mare shows that she is gonna be receptive to being bred. Uh, so if she is receptive, then that mare goes right in and gets bred by our thoroughbred stallion. Uh, if not, we've got a little bit more work to do to determine whether or not she's going to be receptive. But uh, uh, it's a very frustrating job being a teaser on a thoroughbred farm. Does he ever get a chance? He occasionally gets a shot. We'll occasionally have nurse mares on the farm um, and, and they'll get a chance to breed uh, those mares. It's always a good day for those guys when they get to breed a nurse mare. Each year, stallion farms worldwide are constantly combing the racing landscape to find the next thoroughbred racehorse that fits what their customers want. And there is no doubt at Spendthrift Farm, their customers can't get enough of their stallion into mischief, whose runners have earned over $71 million and counting. Enter into the picture, grade one winner Authentic, a son of Into Mischief. How important is it in the fact that Authentic, when he wraps up his racing career, that he will be joining his stallion Into Mischief here at Spendthrift Farm? It's a big factor for us. Obviously, Into Mischief uh, has gotten off to a great start at stud. Uh, he's establishing himself, we feel like, uh, as a sire of sires. And so Authentic, as a really, really talented, precocious, potentially classic horse, was just a natural fit for us. I think the speed is a huge factor in it. Um, into Mischief obviously was loaded with speed, Authentic is too, and he's showing the ability to stretch out a little bit as well. The selling points are that he is a son of Into Mischief, that he is a, a gorgeous looking animal, very correct, very athletic looking, uh, and that he's a horse that's got a little bit more stretch. Into Mischief is kind of a compact, 
a uh, little, little racier type of a horse. This horse has a little bit more length to him a little, and, and a little bit more classic look. And I think that's something that people are, are wanting to see out of Into Mischief is, is this more classic type. And as Into Mischief is getting these better and better mares, as his stud fee goes up, he's showing that he can get that type of a horse. And we think Authentic represents just that. I think people getting the opportunity to be involved firsthand in a racehorse like Authentic is, is something new and exciting for people. And, and even newer and, and less familiar and maybe even more exciting is the idea of being involved in a horse like Authentic as a stallion prospect. He has so much potential in that area. Um, you know, any stallion can be a tremendous success or a tremendous failure, but it's a, it's a great ride. And, and I, I think people will, will really in, in, enjoy being involved in that process. It's great to look forward to seeing those offspring, those first foals when they're born. And that begins to give you your first glimpse of, of uh, what kind of success this horse may have.